Good morning, everybody. Uh, very bright and early in the morning. I'm <laughs> not very glamorous this morning, but um, this recipe today is about onions, all right? And I'm talking caramelized onions. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. I don't know how well I'm going to be showing you at this camera angle, but I'm going to do my best. So these are onions. So you slice them so that they're, they're like little ribbons here. All right. What's the value of cam ca caramelized onions, all right? So when you caramelize onions, their sugar sweetness comes out. But that, for a keto program, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to give you a sugar reaction or an insulin reaction. It's just going to produce a little different uh, taste level of the onions and make them a more, I like, I think delicious form of onion. Now it drives me crazy when you go buy a burger, now not, you know, if you're doing keto, you're not doing the bun, but when you're buying burgers at a burger place and they don't cook the onions properly, which drives me nuts. They sort of just throw them on the grill, cover them with oil, and voila, it's done. But to caramelize onions means you need to cook them for a long time, and they don't have that kind of time in a burger shop, so they just need it to be down and dirty, so to speak. But when we have time in our kitchens, it's something that you can just let cook on its own. You don't have to watch it. Um, but it does take a bit of time to get the, the onion to that brown, light brown, golden brown uh, look. So without further ado, I'll tell you there's only just two ingredients, onions. And you cut them up, as I said, in these like long slivery bits. And they're going to shrink over time they're also going to brown and then you want some very um, warm fat so I've got my fat burning here a little bit so I'm going to cool it down because you don't want the onions to cook too quickly and I actually have about two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of lard and I put my lard away because I'm just going to change the um, Sorry, the temperature here on my um, uh, induction burner. So the the lard helps the onions cook a bit faster. It has a higher um, cooking temperature, so that uh, ensures that the the onions cook uh, a little bit faster. We don't want them to cook too fast, but so you want the the, the flame or the induction level to be very low. And you want to cook them for about 40 minutes. Uh, on a very low heat, you want to turn them uh, consistently so they don't burn. That doesn't mean you have to watch them 100% of the time because if they're on a low flame, they're not going to burn. But you do want to turn them so they cook evenly. So I'll come back and I'll show you what the, the finished onions look like um, later. And, and you can keep them in the fridge. That's the wonderful thing. And you can add them to recipes because it just brings out the, the, the full flavor of the recipe uh, uh, when you caramelize the onions. Um, here are my caramelized onions. This is about 10 minutes in. I want to show you that they're getting golden brown, little bits of brown here, all right, on a low heat, um, and they're just starting to um, uh, extract their sugar potential, all right, so that's what the, um, it looks like. Now, this is the stage of brown, so I'm going to move this up to the um, camera, all right. You want it to be twice this color, the whole batch. All right, so we're going to get there. We just have to be a little patient with this process. All right, folks, here are my caramelized, caramelized onions. I had to increase the heat a couple of times, but not for very long, maybe like 30 seconds, just to get them activated again. But um, they are here and beautiful. And this is one onion, all right, one large onion. And I'm going to use this for a couple of recipes that I'm going to be doing this week. So um, I'm going to make one today. Uh, another one and then the rest of this onion I'm going to put in a container <laughs> these are wonderful uh, storage containers um, they help the food not to rot very quickly um, they're made by a lady called Debbie Meyer and I'm going to put the link to these containers I had they come in different sizes 
So I'll try to put a link for a full package where you get all the sizes and you can test them. But you can literally, there's a mechanism in this um, green coating that um, stops the food from perishing quick, uh, faster. So you can literally keep things like onions in, in one of these containers in the fridge for a long time. I don't use onions because onions really you should store in a dark cupboard somewhere but something like um something you'd refrigerate i don't know what you'd refrigerate as far as vegetables uh, i can't think clearly right now so um broccoli or uh, some sort of green vegetable that you want to keep for a long time uh, fruit if you're eating fruit of course we don't do fruit on keto um, but th these um these allow the moisture in the fruit to rise up and what you want to do is once a week, you want to go into the container and uh, wipe off all the excess moisture that comes off the fruit uh, because there's some sort of chemical process that's going on with the fruit um, in nature. So, um, so these are great containers. So I'm going to put these in here. What I do with the onions is I put them in a piece of wax or parchment paper. Um, I'm not going to be having them in the fridge very long this week. Um, but they can last, you know, a couple of weeks in the parchment paper if you if you do them like this. And they're a great topping to add to salads. These caramelized onions add to any kind of savory dish. It just gives it a little, you know, bang. And uh, as far as flavor is concerned. All right, so there you are. Enjoy. And um, please um, sh uh, share the love. And subscribe to my channel it's something I'm going to be saying in all my videos so please share the love love is a big thing in my life and I want it to be in yours so share the love and and I'll see you next time bye